nothing more than 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 little propaganda ministers. What the hell's the point? All right, let's get into the scuttlebutt of the day here. I I don't understand. I just I swear to God, I just I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't get this at all. Again, this is something my brain just cannot process. I don't I don't understand again how we got to where we are. But if you're a Democrat and you're a liberal and you love the king and you praise him, well, you can say whatever the hell you want. But if you believe in freedom, you wave your flag, you believe in the United States Constitution, well, you can't say a damn thing. Well, we tried to get into this yesterday and the day before. Well, we're going to get into it tonight, then seven hours. After being asked about the racist, this is this is how these people are. This is how these these um, uh, articles are, and they're all against Ted Nugent. This story is about Ted Nugent. He got dumped by the Idaho Casino in Coeur d'Alene because somebody decided to complain. That's all it takes anymore. Imagine that. Imagine if, if your neighbor doesn't like you for whatever reason. They can just call up somebody, and then just because you got a complaint against you, automatically you're guilty. I guess due process, uh, we don't have that anymore. Honey, you seen the due process? Ah, she ain't seen it. I haven't seen it. When was the last time we had due process? If that's all it takes, I mean, why don't we do this to them people? Huh? Why don't we why don't we take why don't we find a liberal the next time we find a democrat somebody that loves the king why don't we make something up about them call the authorities and see if they can get into trouble see if they can lose their job see if they can lose their house lose their life why don't we do that well we're smarter than that we're better than that we're more mature we are secure within ourselves you can't be a liberal unless you're insecure. That's part of being a liberal. That's part of having a lazy, feeble mind is being insecure and immature. And every time you tell the truth, the more truth you tell a liberal, well, the more irate that they become. I, 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 don't, I don't understand that either. Again, these are things my brain simply cannot process. This is dangerous, people. This is dangerous. Well, less than seven hours after being asked about the racist legacy of Ted Nugent. Well, Ted Nugent is not a racist. That's a stupid way to write. And I couldn't find any article today that was, uh, I don't mean sympathetic, but I mean every one of them calls Ted Nugent a racist. Now, all these reporters, they're taking one complaint because of one person, and now automatically Ted Nugent is a racist now. Now he's a racist. From here on out, anytime you see Ted Nugent, he's going to be a racist. Anytime that he's introduced, he's going to be the racist Ted Nugent. He's not going to be Ted Nugent anymore. His first name is no longer Ted. Ted is now his middle name. His first name is now Racist. Racist Ted Nugent. Well, the Coeur d'Alene tribe of American Indians canceled a scheduled performance next month. Marketing and public relations staffers seemed unaware of his racist past. That's because he doesn't have one decision once they were contacted about his appearance. Somebody complained. Imagine that. All it takes is one complaint and you're automatically guilty. Nugent's history of racist and hate-filled remarks. Listen to this crap. This is by the Southern Poverty Law Center. This is what they said. Nugent's history of racist and hate-filled remarks was brought to tribal council's attention earlier the other day. The Coeur d'Alene tribe has always been about human rights. 
Well, so is Ted. Maybe if you listen to him once in a while. The Coeur d'Alene tribe has always been about human rights. We have worked individually and as a tribe to make sure that each and every person is treated equally and with respect and dignity, this statement said. Really? Doesn't seem like you're treating Ted with any respect and dignity. Doesn't seem like you're even treating yourself if you're just going to take one complaint without, uh, you know, following up and finding out. And they didn't. They didn't do any research. They just immediately got one complaint. Boom, Ted's canceled. Gone. (laughs) Chief Allen, chairman of the Coeur d'Alene tribe, issued a one-sentence statement about the cancellation without explaining how Nugent got booked in the first place. Well, because he's a good entertainer and people like him. They like to come to his shows. I don't know. We know what it's like to be the target of hateful messages, and we would never want to perpetuate hate in any way. Well, that's exactly what you're doing, you jackass. How are you not perpetuating hate? Because somebody just came up and told you that this man is a racist, and now you just have to believe it? Why didn't you find out what kind of work that uh, Ted Nugent actually does for uh, Indian issues? He does do a lot, by the way. But I guess they didn't... They didn't want to find that out. Hmm. They just happened to forget to mention that part. You know, the facts. Liberals don't want to mention the facts. If they mention the facts, they're going to expose themselves. We can't have that. See, he's on board the uh, National Rifle Association, which right there makes him a hater. Right there, he's a racist. A white man with a gun has got to be a, a got to be a racist. You can't have a white man with a gun. He's got to be a hater. He's got to be a racist. All he wants to do is kill. A long history of racism, sexism, and homophobia, Islamophobia, aminus towards immigrants, prosperity to use violent tinged language, violent tin language, really. Listen to this crap. Let's say this again. The legendary rocker who is also on the board of the National Rifle Association, has a long history of racism, sexism, homophobia, Islamophobia, animus towards immigrants, and a propensity to use violence-tinged language. That was from Media Matters. Media Matters? Uh, Media Matters? The Onion has more credibility than media matters. What are you kidding me? And violence tinged language. Really? Huh. Racism, sexism. I'm gonna I'm gonna read these words again because I'm gonna play I'm gonna play something. I put together a montage today of real hate speech. And this all liberals and you're gonna recognize some of these voices. And you know me, I don't sugarcoat anything. I like to cover the news, the whole news, and nothing but the frickin' news. This isn't cable TV. This isn't, this isn't network uh, television. And this isn't mainstream radio. So I don't have to beep anything out, and I don't have to edit anything. We're going to cover the news as the news is. Now, the language is very strong, I do understand. But if we beep it out, you're not going to hear exactly what these people really are saying. You're going to be able to feel exactly where these, these people's hearts and minds really are. And you're going to hear the racism, the sexism, the homophobia, the Islamophobia, the animus towards immigrants, and the propensity to use violence-tinged language. Wait till you hear what I'm about to play. This is absolutely, I mean, this is just, this is ridiculous. I mean, they're going to come out here and blame Ted Nugent because, well, he believes in freedom. And he carries a gun. He likes the Constitution. 
I've never heard, you know, I mean, look, Ted Nugent is Ted Nugent, okay? He says a few strong words. He called the president a, a subhuman mongrel. Well, um, I think if you were paying attention to all that this president has done and is continuing to do, subhuman mongrel is, well, it, it, that's an understatement. And he did call Hillary Clinton a C-word. Well, uh, I have. Uh, a lot of people have. She is. Uh, my God. She'll probably even admit it, too. Every Secret Service detailed person, every, secret, every, every, every man on the Secret Service detail knows about this Hillary Clinton. They don't like her. She's very rude. And she screams at these people. Calls them all kinds of names, but she can do that. Why? Well, because she was once the queen. And she wants to be the queen again. Actually, she wants to be the king. You want to get right down to it, she's probably got a bigger penis than Bill. But this is this is real hate speech. Now listen to the sexism, the racism, and the homophobia, and the, uh, and the violence-tinged language. And then all that you know about Ted Nugent, you tell me if Ted Nugent is really the hate monger that he has now been labeled at. He is now racist Ted Nugent. Now these are liberals, and you're going to recognize these voices. And this is a montage that I put together, and again, it's got strong language. I didn't edit anything out. I didn't beep anything out so you could hear it exactly how they said it. So let's go ahead and play this. We gonna have to kill some I'm gonna fight this goddamn white man. Whether you like it or not. I believe in the death and destruction of white people. Each and every one of them. Don't give a damn if the little bastard just came out of his mama's womb three seconds ago. <laughs> After we impeach Clarence Thomas, what do we do with him? <laughs> Let's keep it real. Put him back in the field. Every single last fucking one. The ones who are black are fucking Uncle Tom's are fucking traitors to their people, man. Straight up. After we impeach Clarence Thomas, what do we do with him? What do we do with him? String him up. <laughs> we gonna have to kill some cracker babies. <laughs> but when she was standing on that stage at the fucking convention holding a baby that just came out of her fucking disgusting cunt. <laughs> her fucking retard-making cunt. <laughs> and she held it up. I hate her more than anybody. Kill some cracker babies. Flogged punch well, and then washed and rubbed salt pickle, lime juice, and bird pepper. Made Negro Joe piss in his eyes and mouth. I could go on, but you get the point. When Mrs. Palin invokes slavery, she doesn't just prove her rank ignorance. She confirms that if anyone truly qualified for a dose of discipline from Thomas Thistlewood, then she would be the outstanding candidate. Because, like, I don't get people like you. I don't get your ignorant, cracker fucking stances. Do you think only white people can be racist? Yeah, in the structure we're in, yes, that's the way it is. We will have to kill some cracker babies. They're fucking retard-making cunt. I first would allow the guilty bankers to pay, you know, the ability to pay back anything over 100 million personal wealth, uh, because I believe in a maximum wage of 100 million dollars. And if they're unable to live on that amount, then they should, you know, go to the edu re-education camps. And if that doesn't help, then be beheaded. Kill some cracker babies. These teabag bastards. Who, by the way, I just wish they would all go away. Or, like in Passover, I, I just wish there was an angel of the Lord that would pass over. Instead of killing the firstborn in all the households of Egypt, just wipe out all the tea baggers. Just, you know, the terrible swift sword. Just, shoo, shoo, shoo. Lop their heads off. Put him back in the fields. They're fucking <laughs> retard-making cunt. Fresh Limbaugh, I hope the country fails. I hope his kidneys fail. How about that? Kill some cracker baby. What's that George Bush bitch, um, Rice? Condoleezza Rice? Condoleezza Rice. Yeah, yeah. I love the fuck that bitch did. <laughs> She's a fucking man. Yeah. 
Oh, dead bitch. I just it. imagine horror in Condoleezza Rice's face <laughs> when she realizes what's As going on. As you were just like holding her down and, and, and fucking her. Punch her all in the fucking face. Shut up, Jeez, bitch. That's you exactly know, what I meant. Just, you know, fuck it. And, and George Bush wife? Oh, fuck that bitch to death. Kill some cracker babies. So now that he's dead, I have no really... <laughs> I have no problem saying that the world is a better place now that Andrew Breitbart isn't in it anymore. Retard making. Cheney, oh my God, that's, he's a scary man. I was, it scares me to death. I tell my kids, I say, look, if two cars pull up and one has a stranger and the other car has Dick Cheney, you get in the car with the stranger. Kill some cracker babies. Retard making cunt. I mean, that is just, I mean, can you, I mean, I I don't even know where to start with that. I don't even know where to go with that. You can't get any more vile and friggin' disgusting than that. Now, I'm sorry. But a woman who has a, a child, bears a child, who's either retarded or Down syndrome, or, or whatever. Okay, when you say stuff like that, Louis C.K., which this guy's not funny, and I do know funny. This guy's not funny. You're a pig. Being a pig is not funny. You're a pig. A disgusting pig. But not only did those words uh, uh, hurt, well, Sarah Palin, obviously, but the child. I mean, does this Louis C.K., does he understand that, you know, someday that this child may grow up and may hear these words? What if your wife had a uh, Down syndrome child, Louis C.K.? Would you want somebody to refer to your wife as a retard-making C-word? Hell no. You do not refer to a woman. Now, the whole family just got, got a, I mean, what he, he just wiped out the entire family with that comment. You don't refer to a woman's vagina as a retard-making C-word for having a, a, a child with Down syndrome. My God, in sweet blue frickin' heaven, man! Now, I do understand freedom of speech. I don't believe in hate speech. But you have the right to say it. However, however, if you are going to be able to say those kinds of words, then Ted Nugent must be able to call the president a subhuman mongrel because the president is a subhuman mongrel. His actions prove to be a subhuman mongrel. That's why Ted Nugent called him that. But, I mean, that is absolutely disgusting. And what they said about Condoleezza Rice and, and, and George Bush's wife, going to effort to death? Going to get on top of Condoleezza Rice and, and why he's screwing her, he's punching her in the face? Did we hear the media say anything about that? Did anybody on opening anything, did anything happen to these people at all? Well, no, they're Democrats, they're liberals, they like the king. They can get away with that. And that Wanda Sykes, is, uh, that's another one, not funny. You're not funny. First of all, your voice is, is screechy, it's whiny, it's pathetic, and it's irritating. I would rather listen to finger scratch on a goddamn chalkboard than having to listen to that Wanda Sykes voice. It's irritating to me. I can't listen to that. And you're not funny. I don't care that people think you're funny. And they do think you're funny because you're on the left and you're black. And you can't criticize black people. You can't do that. And kill cracker babies! You can do that. How about if we went out there and called kill nigger babies? Why don't we do that, huh? Well, we don't do that. Why? Well, because we're sensible. We don't play that game. We're not that way. We do not have a mean, hateful heart like you people. And then you're going to come out there and you're going to blame us for being haters and racist and sexist? String up Clarence Thomas? Put him back in the fields? What are you, nuts? You don't say crap like that. I do understand you have a constitutional right to say it, and you can say it. I'm not saying that you should you should lose your job and lose this and all that over it. What I'm saying is if you're going to go out there and you're going to make comments like that, killing cracker babies and screwing Condoleezza Rice and punching her in the face and 
calling Sarah Palin's vagina a retard making C word because she had a, a child with Down syndrome? My God, that is freaking sick, man. I mean, that's just sick, twisted stuff. You have the right to say it, but I mean, come on. If you're going to say stuff like that, you have no business. Absolutely no friggin' business whatsoever. None of calling anybody on the right a hater, a sexist, a homophobe, or any of this other crap. What the hell's the matter with these people? Why is the American people allowing this to happen? I don't know. We can't get the media on this crap. Oh, God, no. They're cowards. They're afraid to cover this. They're not going to come to Ted Nugent's defense. They're not going to defend the First Amendment. Absolutely not. They don't like that First Amendment. They hate it. They hate that entire Constitution. So they're not going to come to Ted Nugent's defense. But, I mean, this is some sick, twisted stuff, man. You don't say stuff like that. Look, if you're having a private conversation, you're with your buddies, you're drinking beer out in the woods, sitting around a campfire, okay, fine. You want to talk that kind of trash? Fine. But over the public airwaves? And in front of the president of one of those stupid uh, uh, correspondence dinners? Those are pathetic. But you don't make comments like that and then and then blame somebody else for being a hater? How can this Wanda Sykes call somebody a hater after what she said? How can that Louis C.K., who does call people on the right haters, and he just said, I hate that woman more than anything, hates Sarah Palin, hates her more than anything, and then he has the audacity to call people on the right as, as haters? Huh? I mean, how do you do that? How do you people do that with a straight face? I don't know. I just find that absolutely sick and twisted. We don't need to be talking like that about each other. Killing cracker babies? I mean, what the hell? Doesn't care that these babies come out three seconds out of the womb? You got to kill them? And the audience is cheering on? Yeah, they did that to us. Really? I mean, this is just, this is sick, man. I don't know how our country got to where we are right now, but I don't like it at all. This is wrong. We don't talk to each other like this. We're Americans, for Christ's sakes. We don't have any groups, Wanda Sykes. You're a creep. I'm sorry, Wanda Sykes, but you're not funny. And could you do something about your whiny, squeaky little voice? My God. You're irritating. You're not funny. Louis C.K., you're a pig. You're not funny at all. That's not funny. How is that funny? And Opie and Anthony, I used to love Opie and Anthony, but, I mean, if they're going to allow that kind of crap on their show, screw them. We're Americans. We got one race in this country, and that's American. We come in every color, every size, every shape, every religion, Everything. We're one people. E pluribus unum. That's what we are. We're Americans. And we're free. So if you're going to go out there and you're going to make these ridiculous, just absolutely uh, uh, just hideous comments, then you have no business whatsoever calling anybody a hater or anything else. You need to look in the mirror because you're the hater. Wanda Sykes, you are a hater. Louis C.K., you are the hater. You new Black Panthers, those you are a hater. That is a hate group. That is a militant hate group. But because they're black, they're beyond reproach. Wanda Sykes is a liberal. She's beyond reproach. Louis C.K., again, a good little Democrat soldier, beyond reproach. But Ted Nugent, well, he's a member of the NRA which automatically makes him a racist and a hater and a homophobe and all this other crap. Well, in true Ted Nugent fashion, this is Ted's response to why he was canceled. I don't think it's going to hurt him very much, but you know what? This this hurts actually America by what they did. 
This hurts America. This is this does have a, a devastating trickle down effect. Now the right, we don't play that game. Maybe we should. I don't know. I'm not saying we should because why should we act like them? We shouldn't. We're better than them. We don't need to act like them. We're not the haters. We're not the racists. We're not the homophobes. We're not the misogynists. We're not any of that crap. That's why we don't play that game. How do we combat this? I I mean, I don't know. Um, except maybe we, we have got to stop within ourselves. We got to start policing ourselves, looking deep inside our souls. Louis C.K., Wanda Sykes, and all the rest of you creeps on there, you need to look in the mirror and look deep inside your soul. Find out where the real, true hate is coming from. Why are you so filled with hate, Louis C.K., and, and, and the rest of you people? I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. I didn't give it to you. I know the right didn't give it to you, because see, the right, we believe in freedom for everybody. Not just the rich, white, gray-haired Republicans. Ted Nugent believes in freedom for everybody. But not just the Tea Party. Not just white people. But everybody. Are you an American citizen? Well, yeah, I am. Okay. This freedom is for you. That's how we on the right feel. Just so you know, liberals, we're not filled with hate. You are. And it's high time you start realizing it. I mean, that's just, and I hated to play this crap, but I had to play it in its, you know, uncut, uncensored, so you can hear just the vile, absolute, just hideous hatred that these people have inside them, and they got it out, and they can get away with it. Got to string up Clarence Thomas? Clarence Thomas. I, you know, I've done some research on this guy, and I haven't found one thing that this man did that would lead me to believe that he is a, what, an Uncle Tom? I don't see him being an Uncle Tom. I don't know, what, what, just because a black guy agrees with a white guy that they're an Uncle Tom, when all black people have to disagree with white people? I thought we were supposed to be all together. Isn't the left all about peace and love? Where's the peace and love? Honey, you seen the peace and love? Ah, she ain't seen it. I mean, this is this is this is just beyond, man. This is some sick, twisted stuff. But here, here's what Ted said. I take it as a badge of honor, and you should, because again, the more truth you tell a liberal, well, the more incensed they become. That's called insecurity. Immaturity, that is a weak, lazy, feeble, disgusting mind. I take it as a badge of honor that such unclean vermin are upset by me and my positive energy. That's right, freedom is positive energy. Ted believes in freedom for everybody. Everybody. That's right, you black people, you Indians, you Mexicans, you... Chinese, you, whatever, you mixed breeds, whatever. Are you an American citizen? Okay. That's all it takes. The Constitution is for you. It's for everybody. It's for us. All of us. As a whole. A collective unit. That's who Americans are. 